so hello guys and in this video you will learn how to make a 3d graph in library office calc and yes you heard it right we can make a 3d graph in library office calc so i have a bunch of values and i want to make a 3d graph from these values so what i will do is i will just select a few values that I want to use in the graph for example I have selected these values and I will come to the insert command and come to the chart option now this automatically adds a chart that I don't really like so I want to make it into a 3d chart so just come in here and click on this 3d look this gives me a bunch of options that are useless if you want to make 3D but if you come in and this check this last deep option this gives you a better looking graph which is kind of 3D now which is there are other options for example simple realistic and cylinder cone I like this cone option better so I will select the cone option I can see I have the graph which has two rows into a 3d form and a bunch of values which are higher and lower now this is a chart wizard so i have selected the first option and gone into the 3d mode after that i will come to the data range and see whether my data that i selected is okay and yes the data is okay and is is, is asking me that is my data in series is is it in columns or is it in rows I have the data in columns. If I had it in rows, I will just select this row option then and see what happens. And this is the data in row form. So it depends on the data quality and what kind of work do you have. For for this instance, I am just trying to make a 3D graph, so I don't really care what kind of data do I present and in what form. And I just like this one better, so I will just continue with this kind of graph. Data series is this one and the chart elements. I don't need to add that because I don't care and I will come to the finish command and this is the kind of a beautiful graph that I just made from library office calc by taking every value as an individual value and all of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 values have now been represented in this graph along this direction. So that's it guys and that's the video and if you want to make a graph like this just follow these easy steps and you will be able to make a very decent graph of your choice and if you want to make further edits to this graph just keep following my channel where you will find more videos on the editing or uh, the modification part of the graph so thank you and please subscribe to this channel for more amazing content in library office calc and other software thank you